Chess friends, how are you? Today is rest day for World Championship, so Ding played some practice game with me. I will show you the fantastic chess game between me and Ding, and this is your today's puzzle, 90 IQ chess puzzle, solve it and comment me, and I will give you a heart, so let's go, Ding started with c4 as he played in World Championship and I copied Nepo's move knight f6, knight here instead of d4, so e5 to control over this square, and we have the same opening as yesterday. e4 is bad because the knight will get the freedom to pressure me, so, I played knight to f6, we seen Ding played e3 last day and Ian responded with bishop b4 but Ding changed his mind and played g3 so bishop goes to c5, here best move is to develop the bishop, let me show you the opening, and after some moves later, we will get this position where white will push his center side pawns and black will focus to develop his pieces, but in our actual game, Ding played knight takes e5. If you take the knight, let me show you the variation then d4 and bishop backs, if white plays c5 then put your queen on e7, you may think these two pieces are hanging so let me take your bishop to counter your queen, no fool, there is knight checkmate on f3, the pawn will be pinned and the king will be trapped, so back to the position, after knight takes pawn we do see here bishop takes f2, sacking the first material king takes then knight takes e5. My idea is to open up the position to activate my piece towards white's territory, and the king gets exposed and I get the good chance, however he can save the king by placing bishop and rook position in a good square, we have d4 to target it but ding forgets about the c4 pawn, so e4 by him and d5, after takes, you shouldn't take it because the pawn is guarded by the knight and your knight is under attack, so knight back to b6 and queen check by ding. If you block it by playing queen e7 then you will do queen exchange, and the both kings will expose and black will lose the opportunity to attack white with his queen, so I slide my king on f8, the king position is not worthy for black, so bishop here and knight takes pawn, in this position ding takes the knight on d5 and after takes, you shouldn't take the knight because after queen takes, the king will face so many weaknesses on there, black will target white easily so rook to f1. Try to hold the position and maintaining the king's structure to glue up the king position, so we have bishop e6, queen to e5 and his tactic is to play bishop here, after takes he is wishing god to win the rook, no you can't, king here and king g1 c6, a4, he is planning to push his queen side pawn with full potential, I played queen d7 bishop d2, I played h5, very critical move because I am stockfish, owner of stockfish channel and I have a big strategy, let you play any normal move rook b1, then h4 takes. Rook takes, rook a1 then rook here to observe king structure, rook here rook e8 rook a1 then rook sacrifice. By taking the bishop, king takes rook then bishop check, king have to move back and that's it, you will lose your queen and the game will be over, so back to the position, ding played queen g5, now we see f6, queen to h4 by ding but best move was to play queen here, try to stop the pawn from moving on g5, now bishop to g4 and you may think g5 is potential threat, but it's not the actual threat, let me show you why, if white play any normal move rook here and if you think g5 will top the queen, g5. Then white will sacrifice the bishop on g5, pawn takes then queen takes check, the file is covered by the rook so if you play king here then bishop check, and after one move, then position will be dead lost for you because you are gonna lose your queen, so back to the alternative position, king h7 is a bad move so if you play queen g7 then bishop, takes knight and takes, queen takes check king here then rook goes to f7, the king and queen has a great love story but it's end up with the god's decision, so. Back to the current position, after rook e1 I played knight e7, now this is the real threat comes to black to trap him, bishop to e4 to seize the diagonal, so, we do see here queen takes check and targeting to the bishop, rook blocks to protect him, rook to d1 and I am threatening to take the rook after takes, rook takes check then king back to g1, then g5 will come to destroy you, because the bishop will not longer alive to protect the queen, so bishop here to target it. Here I sacrificed the queen as a tempo by taking the rook after king takes I played g5 to target the queen, bishop back to b1, threatening to take the knight by playing rook takes knight, if you take the queen then the rook will reach the 7th rank to rule over your army, 
and the king's structure and position will be in a bad condition, so I protect the structure and the knight by playing king f7, after takes takes we do see here bishop check knight blocks king backs to protect the pawn king here. Bishop d4 rook comes rook here knight f4 taking the knight isn't good, let me show you why, if you take it the rook takes, takes and king takes, this connected pawns are so good create problems and black have two rooks against a rook and minor piece that's enough to win the game, and chess friends, if you want to be smart in chess then you can like and subscribe to my youtube channel to get more episodes, so white takes the pawn, knight check and the king cannot go to g2 because of rook check this square is blocked so after king backs another rook will come to destroy your king, so we have king h1. Rook to e2 and threatening to play rook to e2 to checkmate white, we have bishop f4, rook takes pawn, bishop to e2 to protect it, f5 a5 rook here bishop to a7 and f4, if you take the pawn then after pawn takes bishop here rook targets his brothers so rook c1 and rook e4, that's it, you are gonna lose one of your piece, and the game from your hand, so back to the position we have a6, to target it, b6 rook c1 f3 and bishop backs all the away king here bishop takes pawn, sacking the bishop, because the two connected past pawns, will create so much pain for white, so after rook takes, bishop here rook b2 threatening to play rook g2 then knight checkmate on f2, so white plays bishop check, king backs, if you take the rook, then black will successfully checkmate white by making the rook knight, and the pawn combination, so ding move back his bishop, I played rook g2 and this is coming, so rook check blocks rook takes check here check takes a7 and knight checkmate, don't forgot to subscribe the channel. Ding will play against Nepo next day, and he learns from this game a lot, wish you all the best, thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.